Mm, cardboard box. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back. Video with my hands. Uh, again. I still don't have a tripod. I'm doing this stupid thing where I, I put stuff on my phone and I'm trying to hold it, like, where it's, like, kind of, you know, anyway. Um, today, we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, I've been waiting a while for this, and I thought, you know, I wanted to check it out. This is the Framework laptop. It's a laptop that's designed to be actually repairable and upgradable and stuff that you can actually fix yourself. You don't have to go get a whole new laptop if you like run out of space or something. And there's way more to it. I'll get into it when I open it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Again, uh, I'm not a tech YouTuber. I'm not going to become one. Um, but, you know, I'll do my best. Uh, but check this out. See, I have an actual outline of what I should be doing instead of just doing improv. Let's open it. I don't know how to get it out. I think I'm stupid. Um, this is horrible. Oh, hang on. I'm really dumb. There's a tab here. You lift. There we go. Okay, we'll put this aside for now. I think there's some more stuff in here to check out. All right, got a. This is the manual. Uh, there, I made that. Oh, some stickers. Yeah, I could put this on my bottle. I, do you guys sticker bomb your bottles? I, I have like too many on there. That's cool. It's nice brown paper. Interesting. And, and, hey, pretty handy screwdriver. This feels really nice too. Uh, it's got a spudger here. Um, you know, if I can get it to focus. I don't care, who cares? I think that's it. There's not that much in the box. Yeah, this seems good. Okay. Put this aside. I'm kind of glad that they kind of went for that um, approach of having, you know, sustainable materials and uh, because this is meant to be repairable and all that. So I, I appreciate the gesture. Ho 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 ho. What the hell? I already made that joke last time. It's not funny anymore. All right. Wow. This is very, this is very premium for a new company. Uh, like, this feels almost like XPS quality, Dell XPS. So, yeah, main event here, you can see, oh, where the where the hell are my ports? How am I gonna plug in my port? <laughs> this, my friend, are expansion slots. And you can slide in these, like, little modules. I'll get them later. But, um, you can have, like, USB-C, USB-A, an HDMI thing. And you can also make ports yourself. It's really cool. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Now the cool thing about the Framework laptop is that you can order it in two different configurations. One, where it's just pre-built like a normal laptop where they'll sell you it, um, you know, already made for you. Or, you get to do it, uh, there's my, you get to do it yourself. Kind of, kind of. I, I wish that they kind of give you all the parts and you have to kind of figure all that stuff out. Uh, but, you know, for lo some logistic reasons, logistic reasons? Re <laughs> logistics reasons. They had to like pre-assemble some stuff, which I'm okay with, because how often can you say that you built your own laptop? Hoo hoo hoo. Uh, I don't know where the there's supposed to be a cover here. Okay, weird. Um, I want to try out the keyboard first because I am like really anal <laughs> about keyboards. Um, I, I've been holding onto my ThinkPad, this old ThinkPad, for like so long because of the keyboard was so good and the layout was really good. Uh, it's a T430. I really want to try one of those old ThinkPad keyboards with like the blue enter button. Um, no one cares. All right, let's go on. I want to get oh. the the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. This is it's pretty nice. Okay, I don't want to break it like when I first got it. this is. This reminds me of a um, kind of like a MacBook, not not the newer, um, not especially not the <laughs> stupid butterfly switches, um, like sort of the uh, twenty thirteen ish MacBook Air, or twenty fifteen MacBook Pro, whatever, um, one of those. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, it's not. It's, I don't think it's as good as the T four thirty one because that had like a a clack in here. Let me go get it, actually. All right, I got it. Get a real laptop. It doesn't even fit in the frame. Hang on. It's so annoying. 
this is very lightweight. Um, nice change of pace. Because this thing is kind of behemoth. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. You open it up. It's beautiful track point here. I wish this was on the framework laptop, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, this just has a really nice feel to it. It's like something like two two millimeter of key travel, maybe, I wanna say. The framework has a 1.8, which is pretty close. But this is just oh beauty. Alright, let's put you away. Sleep tight, sweet prince. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought it'd be like new MacBook-ish, which I really don't like. Yeah. If we try to turn it on, nothing happens. Because we have to do it ourselves. This is horrible. Okay. Ooh, another cardboard. This is not cardboard. Sorry, this video is so horrible. <laughs> All right, we got a lot to unpack here. All right, we have our SSD that we get to put in that you get to change and not have it fucking soldered to the motherboard. We got our RAM sticks. We got our oh no. <laughs> All right, I hate I hate installing these, but we gotta do it anyway. And here are the things. So these are the little expansion ports, and these go on the bottom of the laptop over here. So you get to actually change out your ports like how cool is that let's let's open it. let's open one of these i treat my electronics so horribly i just throw them around and stuff but i know they can take it and if you open it it's upside down so these are these little cards here and this is a, just a USB-C, USB-C. So it goes from USB-C to USB-C, which means it does nothing. <laughs> um, let's put it in. Uh, uh, let's put it here, because my charger is on that side. Uh, I thought that clip would have been <laughs> a little nicer. And I get them out. Did they come out easy? I'm kind of scared of, okay. Okay, yeah, they're a bit hard to get out. <sighs> alright, alright, okay, I actually like that. Um, pleasant challenge, because uh, that means these won't be coming out anytime soon. So, that's good, that's good. I should take this stupid thing off. Alright. You ready? Let's do this. Um, I should open the manual. If there's a, there is a manual that comes with this. I'm going to ignore that. Oh, they're captive. Oh, awesome. Poggers. Don't ever let me say that ever again. I need to learn to, like, look at things before I open them all, you know. Oh, I got the screen all smudged. Whatever. Oh, look at that. Hey! Been a little while since I've seen a laptop that you can, you know. Alright, you're gonna be very careful. Not to rip out this cable. That's a very long keyboard cable. Look at that. Yeah, okay, usually um, <clears throat> keyboard cables, when the laptop when it opens out, like like a book, like forward towards you, these can rip like really easy. And this looks reinforced. I, I still be careful. I would be careful with um, opening it, but let's figure out how to disconnect this damn thing. Ah. Okay. We'll put this aside. Oh, look at that. Beauty. Um, probably a good idea to disconnect the battery before I do anything. I'm gonna read the manual. And my desk is so messy. I'm sorry guys, this is a horrible video. Hey, but hey, fan service! Oh god, alright. Okay, quick start guide. Remove the framework laptop from the box. I already failed this one kind of, so I am really dumb. All right, first step is to install the storage. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, I've replaced tons of like normal SSDs, uh, normal. <laughs> uh, just regular SATA two and a half SSDs, but I've never actually, or I've done an M.2 switch once. There's a sticker on here. I gotta get that out. Where's my screwdriver? All right, I got it. Uh, I'm calling it now. I'm gonna lose this thing in like. 
within the first week. Because I tend to lose nice things. Oh, all right. Remember, kids, it's always a good idea to cut towards you. That way, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some reading material for tonight. Look at that. Now that's for gamers. That's gaming. Man, this is crazy. Like, you know, you got all this storage and like a stick of gum. A huge stick of gum, albeit, but like, still cool. Oh, it's magnetic too. Man, this is really cool. I'm sorry. Uh, it's like, <laughs> if you don't care about this kind of stuff, then you're definitely not really expecting this video. But for those of you who are here, thank you for watching. Okay, storage installed. What's next? Install the memory. All right. Oh, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> right. Uh, one. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this. Can I just like... The guy is telling me to use the right side first. It's not telling me that. That's what it says in the photo. But like... Maybe that's what... That's what maybe that's where it all went wrong. <sighs> oh, okay, there you go. You put it in like that. I think you pull... You're supposed to push it towards the main board. Like, in words like this, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh. I don't actually replace laptop RAM that often, and, uh, the last upgrade I did on a laptop was just the storage on my ThinkPad. So I'm kind of, you know, uh, I just lost all my credibility. Okay, memory goes in. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't feel right. At all. There we go. Lewis Rossman, all the way from New York or New Hampshire, is like shaking his head right now. Yeah, is that in? That looks in. Uh, I'm gonna say it's in, and if I get a RAM error, then... Oh, okay, next step. Prepare the Wi-Fi module. Oh, shit. Okay. This thing is not a fun time. Unscrew the fastener using the T5... Whatever that means. Alright, wait, we gotta... On screw I should not be putting com like <laughs> computer parts on fabric. That's a horrible idea. Okay, no one saw that. Oh boy. All right. Okay, let's put it in. Pause. Hey, what if I break this? That'd be funny. That would not be funny. Okay, there you go. All right. Um, wait. I'm supposed to connect them first. Okay, I'm supposed to connect these first. Um, not like that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Oh god. Okay, thank God this isn't like a live stream because you would be. This would be not fun, watching me struggle for like hours upon end. I swear I'm not this bad with computers. You, you gotta believe me. Um, let's go in just like that. There we go. Hold it back. Ah, oh, see how cool is that? You got like magnets. You don't have to use those, those like stupid clips that. Uh... All right, if you've ever worked on like a a laptop, um, maybe um, I don't know, some some like Acer laptops have this. They'll have like clips to hold the top part, or maybe the bottom part, and the rest of the laptop together, and they're so like shit to take out, and I hate those. Ugh. Oh, whoa. Yeah, one more thing. I want to show off the, uh, this, this bezel. You can actually, oh, gotta be careful. I don't want to show myself on that. There's microphone and like webcam switches. And they're like hardware switches. Like, hang on. You see that? It's not focusing, but whatever. Turn that off, and then. Turn that off too. That is freaking cool. I want to see more of those guys. Yeah, Dell. Come on, I'm looking at you. And this bezel is magnetic too. Look at that. Look at that. No more stupid MacBook Air. You have glue and crap. That is awesome. I really like this laptop. You can tell. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, we can't turn it on because there's no <laughs> operating system in there. Um, but yeah. Let's screw you back in. Right. See, that was, that was pretty easy. It's not even that stupid Wi-Fi antenna thing. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and put the rest of these in. 
Um, let's do a USB A. Yeah, I, I I'm not in totally in love with this silver finish, but on the forums they do say like, you know, that they wanted to they didn't want to like die it due to the dying process because that's like really bad for the environment. And yeah, I get that with the whole sustainability repairability thing. Um, but yeah, it, it does look nice. It's it's very, it feels very MacBooky, I guess. Which I'm not the hugest fan of, to be honest. But hey, are there any other laptops that are like this? No, didn't think so. All right, we're done building. Now we gotta put an OS on this because I ordered this without Windows. Um, because I hate Windows. Okay, I just checked over that footage and it was really bad because I had to use this webcam and I was holding it on top of that. Like, ooh, hey. So. Yep, that was the framework laptop. I was gonna do the install of the OS on here, but then I figured I might as well do that. I, I might do that in like another video, you know, install Linux on it. But that is the framework laptop. You can see that I, whoops, I, I don't know why it's not detecting this, uh, my boot drive here. So that was it. Anyway, yeah, this was kind of a horrible video. Sorry. Um, no, actually, I'm not sorry. You were blessed with this video, no matter how shitty it is. Um, so. Uh, it says my device is too hot. Um, I gotta stop recording soon, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you later, I guess. I don't know.